What else can the Periolase do in your practice? There's a lot of other very practical things. It can make better that you're doing now or some treatment that you might not be doing at all. Well, aphthous ulcers, uh, if you treat an aphthous ulcer uh, with the NDAG Periolase, uh, it will get rid of um, aphthous ulcers quicker. They will become much more comfortable. Uh, for uh, troughing around crowns, I have not used cord in uh, more than five years, and my staff keeps pulling it out every once in a while and saying, "Well, can't we, you know, give this away?" Well, no, you know, there might be, you know, something. I don't think there's going to be anything, but you never know. Uh, so I haven't thrown it away yet. Root surface desensitization. Uh, if you do have some sensitivity, there's a protocol for treating that. <clears throat> Does a really, really good job of that sealing things off, and it's a permanent uh, thing. It doesn't come back. Uh, phrenectomies, you can see here, we've got one that's pulling, and it's actually pulling on the gingiva. Go ahead and treat that, and you end up with the gingiva now being relaxed. With the ortho treatment, this may uh, resolve itself, maybe not. Here is, I believe, uh, three weeks post-op, and you can see some of this tissue it has come back. Um, so it may come back the rest of the way on its own or it might need a graft. Uh, hemostasis and extraction sites, this is great. I have very, very rarely uh, had any kind of uh, post-operative problems with uh, dry socket uh, since I've started using the periolase in my sockets. I use it in all of them. Uh, works great. Herpetic lesions, if the patient can feel that coming on, <clears throat> it will stop it right there and it won't get any worse. Uh, my, one of my front desk girls had one last week and uh, we went ahead and uh, treated it twice and it was gone, it never came in. Pulp caps, uh, the hemostasis mode, you can go ahead and treat that. If you feel like you can save it from a, a root canal or especially with this economy, people, oh, can't you do it without it? This is one of those services services that you can do that will um, possibly save them uh, having to the expense of, of a root canal. Uh, this is a hemangioma that I treated. Um, don't ever do this unless you have extra cardiac muscle and stomach lining to spare, which I didn't. And, um, but you can see very, very massive. She's had this since she was a little girl. Um, she was going to have a surgery, and it was going to be about uh, $5,000. They were going to put a catheter into one of the veins in her neck, run it up into her face, and try and um, somehow cut this off and uh, get rid of that. So she had complained uh, to us, and I said, well, you know, we can, we can give this a try. Um, and then I wish I had taken my, my uh, words back, but uh, couldn't. So we had and treated it once. You can see how it's reduced quite a bit. This is immediate post-op. Um, you can see that the actual area has gotten smaller, but it wasn't quite to the point where um, she would bend over and it would fill and she would feel pain from that. So uh, being the nurse that she is, uh, it was kind of key to taking care of that. Here's another shot of the interim. It got better, but um, needed a little more. So I went ahead and treated inside again. You can see the difference between what we had before and now. We've only got very little. Uh, there, and I will, this is uh, immediate post-op, and we'll go through the next one here. This is what she looked like when she was done. She said that the um, pain that she had when bending over felt uh, completely normal, didn't have any problems with it, so we were able to take her from something that was very, very almost disfiguring to a point where you can barely tell that something's going on. I would be willing to do a little more with her, but she said, yeah, that's fine. Um, regular hemangiomas, you can go ahead and treat those. Uh, nice little small things go away, no scarring, um, very little trauma to the patient. Other things that you can do, we have uh, incise and drain, uh, biopsies, lots of things that you can take uh, care of for patients, uh, good services. Mm -hmm.